Hello everybody and welcome back to Cat's Tiny Kitchen. Um, if you notice my voice is a little hoarse and I'm a little stuffy, I think I caught a cold. And you'll hear me sniffling throughout this thing, but hopefully it won't affect the video too much. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make shrimp chowder. Um, and we're going to start out with the butter. I'm waiting for the pan to get hot. And um, we'll put the butter in and put the vegetables in. And we'll get, I'll give you the recipe as we go along. It won't be too hard to follow. Um, so I'm going to start out with my butter. Throw that in there. And it's melting pretty good. It won't take too long. It doesn't need to be completely melted. Just melted enough so that when I put the vegetables in to saute them, they will be able to saute in the butter. And um, it's looking pretty good right now. And the butter's starting to bubble a little bit, so I think we're going to be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm adding my vegetables. I've got a cup of diced potatoes. I have a half a cup of red bell pepper. I have a half a cup of onion, and I have a half a cup of celery. And we're going to go ahead and add that in right now. That's my container out here. I'm going to get this sautéed a little bit. I'll probably throw some music in here because you're going to get bored watching me watch butter melt and vegetable saute. I don't want string in there. A celery string. It's been about five minutes and we are, the celery and the onion are looking pretty clarified to me. So now I'm going to just add a tablespoon of, I'm using jarred minced garlic and that's one tablespoon and we're going to stir that in a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's getting fragrant. So now I'm going to add, I'm adding a quarter cup of flour. And this is going to make the thickener for the, the corn chowder. I'm going to stir this in really good. Get the vegetables all good and coated. And now I'm going to add, start adding chicken or vegetable stock. Sorry, I've got two two cups of vegetable stock here. I'm going to start adding a little bit at a time. Till everything gets good and incorporated. the rest of the stock here pretty quickly now because it's getting thick enough. And that's our two cups of vegetable stock. Now what I'm going to do is bring this to a boil and um, 
let the vegetables continue to cook. Turn them down on medium high and let the vegetables continue to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. And then we can add the rest of our ingredients at that point. So I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I'm back, and it's been about 25 minutes, and I checked my potatoes, and they're done. And it's boiling pretty good. So we're going to go to the next step. So I'm going to add a cup of corn, and this is corn that came out of our garden, or out of the, out of, I shouldn't say our garden, we don't grow corn. Came up from our um, local vegetable stand here in town. So there's that. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of Old Bay seasoning. Get that stirred in really good. And then I'm going to add a cup and a half of um, half and half. We're going to let this cook through or get warm, get hot. And then we're going to go ahead and add the shrimp after that. So I'm going to um, just stir this a little bit, put the lid back on it, and then we'll be back probably about 10 or 15 minutes to um, add the shrimp and finish this off. So I'll be back shortly. I'm back and it's been about 15 minutes and everything's heated through. It's starting to come to a bubble so I'm going to go ahead now and add my shrimp. Um, this is a 10 ounce bag of shrimp and they're medium shrimp. And when I was um, younger and didn't have a whole lot of money I was always afraid that the shrimp wouldn't stretch far enough. So my little hack is if you get these shrimp and you don't think there's going to be enough, just cut them in half. That way they'll be in small bite-sized people pieces and people will be able to enjoy shrimp in their bites. So we're going to add that now. And it's only going to take a couple minutes for this, for the shrimp to cook. This shrimp cooks really fast, so I'm just going to keep an eye on it here. And as you see, when I put it in, it's kind of a gray color. It'll turn white and pink. Some of it will turn pink. So it won't, it won't be clear anymore, so to speak. It'll be um, pinkish white. And that should only take really about three to four minutes, maybe eight at the most. So that's my recipe, folks. Um, I really, I'm glad you came along to visit me today. And um, I hope you come back and visit me again. So I'm going to bid you adieu. And all we have left to do is plate this up and eat it. And I'll take a picture at the end. So I thank you again for coming along, and you all have a blessed evening.